a research study of 180 teams by Google on why teams fail found that who is on the team matters less than how the team members interact, structure their work, and view their contributions. The reality is, it's not enough to have the best players. You need to train as a team to get the best results. I want to invite you to think about the members of your team for a moment and imagine that every person hired is fantastic in their role and they're experts and top-notch professionals. And so for some of you, that might not be a stretch. For others of you, you may be thinking, uh, no, Darcy, hardly. But wherever you are on that spectrum, what most teams do is look at how they can invest in the person to increase their individual and performance or skills. So organizations will make the right hire. I mean, hopefully that's the starting point is that they make the right hire and then they invest in training that person. And professional development is seen as connected to the individual. And the premise is that if the people on the team are strong, then the team will be strong. Okay, if only Jim was a better communicator, our team would be better. If only Tammy improved her productivity, our team would be better. Maybe you can relate. And so organizations focus on making the right hires and then investing in them. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for individual professional development. But the key is, it's just as important to train as a team as it is to train the individuals. Each person does have a responsibility to be the best that they can be. However, most organizations stop right there and they don't focus on how to take those individuals and collectively supercharge the results, get exponential results by training as a team. So take a look at any sports team. Right now in Arizona and Florida, Professional baseball teams are getting ready for spring training and the upcoming season doing their spring training. And so imagine if each player went to spring training and only focused on their own individual skills. They did batting practice. They did pitching practice. They hired their own professional coach. Maybe they went to a special conference uh, or watched TED Talks or studied. Maybe they even gave a TED Talk. <laughs> And then maybe the manager of the team even brought in a speaker for an hour or even a full day on how to win a baseball team, excuse me, how to win a baseball game. How would that team do? Would the players learn something? Yeah, probably. Would they have fun at the conferences or at the TED Talk? Most likely, would they hone their individual skills? Absolutely. Would they be ready for opening day? No, absolutely not. And while it sounds ridiculous, that's what most organizations do when it comes to professional development. They encourage employees to go to conferences, to listen to podcasts, to do book clubs, get those certifications, maybe even work with a coach. And they might even go all out and the manager of the team brings in a guest speaker on how to communicate better. Now, why would we expect anything different from that work team as we would the baseball team? And yet, that's exactly what we do. So here's your workout. If you can see yourself and your team in this, I want to leave you with a starting point. How can you start? How can you start to train as a team today? I'll give you something you can do with your team next time you meet. Ask everybody on the team what three words they would use to describe your team today. Then ask them, 
to write down three words that they would love to be able to use to describe your team in the future. And then explore and have a conversation, raise the awareness on your team members' individual perspectives on the current team dynamics and what their dream team would be. And then talk about what do you need to do as a team to get from where you are now to where you want to be? There's no right or wrong answers, but it's a place to start as a discussion and to start training as a team. And if you want help doing this, that's what we're here for. Reach out to us at DarcyLoma.com and let us know. And we'd be happy to help your trains, your team start to train. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Darcy Loma. And I'm so grateful that you join us for these Thoughtfully Fit Thursday Nuggets. Don't hesitate to reach out if we can help with anything. Take care. Happy training.